Hey everyone, this is Chef Steven. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna to be making some uh, salsa because we're grilling outside, we're having a little get together. So, what better way to celebrate than with a little salsa with some fresh vegetables. So what we got is a little tomatoes, some onions, some lime, a little jalapenos, some cilantro, basically everything that you would have for a pico de gallo, but we're gonna blend it all up and make like a little dip with that. Let's get started, shall we? All right, what I like to do is I like to get my cast iron or my comal nice and hot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get some Roma tomatoes and we're just gonna let that get nice and charred all on the outside. I'm also gonna get a jalapeno. You know what, we're gonna do two. And we're just gonna let that get nice and charred all around the outside. If you wanna take your onion and do the same thing, by all means, go for it. I love that little charred uh, flavor to it. So let's let this get all nice and hot and just kind of go from there. A little tip, get a little olive oil, at least for your onion. And that way you'll get that nice little smoke to it. I will admit one of the things I forgot was some garlic. So right there we're throwing a little bit of some garlic. We're gonna cook everything down until it's nice and soft and from there, we're gonna put it all in the blender, mix it all up with some cilantro, some salt and pepper, some lime juice, and we're pretty much gonna be done. But the heart, also, a little trick that I like to do once you get a sear on your garlic, if you're doing your onions just enough, I like to put my garlic in that little piece of onion so that way it doesn't overcook and burn. But put a little bit of some olive oil in there just to kind of help it cook a little bit faster. Now that we've got everything charred off, the jalapenos, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut them in half and we're gonna carefully de-seed them. You can leave the seeds in if you like your salsa nice and hot. But for today's purposes, as you can see, I'm kind of afraid to touch it, but it's okay. We're just gonna take this out. Now, when you're doing that, just be very careful with your, uh, knife so as to not cut yourself but also remember that if you're going to touch it without gloves you don't want to rub your eyes please don't do that the reason why the next step is you want to get a little bit of some lime juice in there you can add a little bit or a lot and make it as bright as you want i really love lime juice in here because again it just makes everything so much brighter and it gives everything just a little bit of a different taste. And then we're going to get a little bit of some olive oil, which sounds crazy. But for some reason, I just love a little bit of olive oil with everything as it gives it a little bit of a different texture as well. That fat will also complement the, uh, the spiciness, the lime, everything. We're going to get a little handful of cilantro. And last but not least, a little bit of salt. Oh yeah, a little bit of olive oil. Duh. It's almost gonna be kind of like a vinaigrette-ish, if you will. And if you're thinking, that's not right, trust me, it'll work. I don't know if you can see the color, but it's looking awesome. So let's try it. Just needs a little more salt. Last time just to mix it all up. Let's try it one more time with a clean spoon. Perfect. Next step, let's put it all together. Even though the salsa is already done. All right, the absolute last thing to do. We've been cooking some pork belly down for about four or five hours. A little excessive, but we'll do another video for this and some chicken and all that fun stuff. We're gonna get a tortilla. We're gonna get, ooh, nice and hot, a little bit of this pork belly and a little bit of salsa. Make sure your tortilla is nice and hot, you know? We're gonna get this salsa right on top. Take a little bite. That's fantastic. 
the hearty, rich uh, flavors of the pork, the smokiness complement, the salsa, the brightness of it with that extra lime juice that we added, that heat is fantastic. Definitely worth doing again. If you like what you see, make sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Chef Steven Gonzalez. Also, go to ChefStevenGonzalez.com, pick up an order of my cookbook, get your grub on. Follow me on social media, Facebook, Chef Steven Gonzalez, or Instagram, Chef Stegons. Anyways, have a great day. Again, like and subscribe. Catch you later. Have a great day.